Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. We've got a lot of cloud cover across Connecticut right now, but we are dry. So if you have any plans to take it out and about this evening, the weather more or less cooperates. Temps will be in the 70s and early warning pinpoint Doppler. The state's only live radar will continue scanning dry. So we've got readings right now from 71 in Groton to 75 in New Haven and Bridgeport. We've got 72 in Torrington, 75 Willimantic, uh, 75 also for Meriden, 76 right now in Hartford. So our view from Torrington, if you look toward the top of your screen, there are some patches of blue here or there, but more or less it's a, it's a cloudy evening uh, and our view from a store showing perhaps a couple breaks here or there. So there will be some patches of clear skies, but more or less, again, primarily cloudy as we head uh, through the next 24 to 48 hours, actually. Later Thursday, we could see some parts clearing. So our view from Middletown right now showing again more clouds than anything and those clouds are all in association with uh, some wet weather farther offshore from Connecticut along a stalled frontal boundary. So this boundary is the one that brought us uh, that refreshing change that we uh, felt yesterday. Uh, high pressure kind of relinquishing its control as this uh, boundary starts moving back to the west a little bit as we head uh, later tomorrow into tomorrow night. So waves of low pressure just riding along that waves of rain and uh, eventually that will work into Connecticut. So I want to show you a different couple model scenarios. This is the, the European model this evening at seven o'clock showing the rain off to our southeast and that's where it remains while we're sleeping tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. By tomorrow evening, the rain begins to overspread southern New England could be heavy at times tomorrow night and then whatever rain is lingering into Thursday morning tapers off and that's when we could see perhaps some partial late day clearing on Thursday. The GFS, the American model, actually very similar to what I just showed you with the European. 7 o'clock tomorrow uh, this evening, the rain still offshore to our south, and that's where it remains overnight. And by tomorrow evening, on the approach to Connecticut as we head into tomorrow night into early Thursday morning, again, rain becomes likely, could be heavy at times, with perhaps a little partial clearing late in the day on Thursday. So in the meantime, tonight, dry basically cloudy, seasonable with temperatures upper 50s, low 60s, then tomorrow afternoon, uh, mid to upper 70s across Connecticut. So similar to today in that our temperatures remain below average. So on our early morning seven day forecast, we've got that rain that lingers into um, Thursday morning, perhaps a little partial late day clearing temps also near 80 on Thursday. Then for Friday, uh, we'll see a brighter sky as well as uh, temperatures trending warmer. We'll end the week with highs back above average into the mid if not upper 80s. That's what we're forecasting as well over the upcoming week. Weekend. Saturday thinks a dry day, partly to mostly sunny, but it will be noticeably more humid. That's the case basically from the weekend into early next week uh, with a chance for an isolated afternoon shower or storm on Sunday. That's the case also Monday into Tuesday of next week for shoreline highs this weekend, uh, mid 80s for both Saturday and Sunday.